Yeah, I wanted to show you guys something cool that I got in the mail a few days ago. So you guys know, I've been working on my truck, a few other projects. And there's been some times that I've needed to stick two pieces of metal together. And yeah, bought myself a welder. Now, this welder here is only a few weeks old. It uh, just hit the market not long ago. And it's uh, made by Hubbard. Um, I've never owned a welder before. This is the very first welder that I buy. Um, so it's a multi-process welder. And I like the fact that it has like uh, different options. You know, uh, stick welding, uh, TIG, and uh, MIG welding capabilities. Uh, it runs both on 120 volts and 240 volts. So yeah, that gives me some options, you know, I've never welded in my life, so uh, I'm gonna possibly learn to do it on this one. So I'm gonna open this box and show you guys what's inside. So you guys can tell I haven't opened the box at all. Uh, yeah, let me set this up so I can show you guys better. Here we are, and of course I'm gonna do this on the kitchen table because what better place to do this? Let's see, we're gonna open up this tape. Carefully, I don't want to damage anything inside. Let's try this end. There's another piece of cardboard inside this box. Put this to the side. It's got a little manual, I guess, with all the information and stuff, all the safety procedures. I'm not gonna open this because I'm not planning on using it yet. Just trying to show you guys what's inside. So packaging looks pretty well packaged. I see some foam and stuff here. Right away, some MIG wire. I believe this is a 30 millimeter, 0.030. So it's the good stuff, I guess. The most versatile one. I'm going to save that for whenever we're ready to do something with it. A little box right here. Let's see. I have no idea what these things are. Because I've never welded anything in my life. I know what this is. This is uh, for the gas. This is like a little valve that I guess you could see the pressure and stuff on your tank. It's uh, pretty good quality. You know? Yeah. Cool stuff. Guess I'm gonna have to get a, a tank. Put this inside. Right, this box. This information. What's this here? Oh, this is cool. It's like a gauge so that you can see the size of metal that you're welding. Goes from 24 gauge, which is like the type of things they use on vehicles nowadays, and it's really thin stuff, all the way to 5 16 Cool little gauge. Hopefully, you guys can see it there. Little keychain. What is this thing here? Oh, let's wait a minute. Let's see. Oh, yeah. This is the cool part that allows you to plug it up to a um, 120 volt uh, outlet and then just the back of the plug. This is really cool. You just hook it up and ready to go. 
It's made by Miller. I don't know if you guys can read that. Didn't think I was going to see that. It's a hover welder. But I guess it's a similar company, same company, I believe. Oh, here comes the good stuff. Let's take this out. Oh, pretty cool. Good little solid packaging. There. Put this on the side. So, I just want to see inside. This is what it looks like in there. Let's see. This was the box that I was trying to pull out a little while ago. One piece. Let's see what it is. In here. Oh. This is uh, the MIG gun. Feels pretty solid. Open steel bag. I can see the connection to the welder. No trigger. This on the side. A few little replacement nozzle tips. Not sure what the name of these are. Right now, when I'm finished unpacking it, I'll give you guys a closer look at all this stuff. It's real cool stuff. I don't think this comes with a pedal or anything like that. I don't know exactly how this is going to work. This is a little different cups and tips that come with it. Not sure what the names of those are. So it's a size 6 cup, 5 and 4. And whatever's already on the on the actual adapter itself. The torch. See what else is in here. I believe that is it. I believe it's just the welder now. Okay, there's this wire here. That's the ground clamp, I believe. Oh no, that's uh, actually this is for the for the stick welder feature. The machine comes with. It's pretty solid. You know, cool stuff. I think one of these is also there. I think I'm gonna pull out two things at once. No, 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 that's how it is. Yep. Cool stuff. Just a little hose, I believe. Probably hooks up to the to the tank somehow. Not sure to be honest. Yeah, it's gas too. Assembly. More packing things. I want to put this in the floor and we're gonna check this out. Okay, so this is what was left inside the box that he didn't pull out. The rest of the styrofoam 
and the actual unit itself also the plug that hooks up to the 120 was still connected to the actual plug side and there it is that is what comes in the box so you got little hose gas hose the stick welding lead the TIG welding lead and the MIG setup overall I mean I think for what it's worth it's not such a bad deal I mean I paid a little bit over a thousand dollars for this maybe a thousand and eighty eight I believe was uh, the cheapest price that I could find it for with tax and everything it came out to like around twelve hundred bucks and yes let's see if we can plug it up and turn it on let's see if it'll start give me a second guys all right we got this thing plugged up and we're gonna see if it starts I believe this is the switch here in the front. And there it is. Cool stuff. It's got a few little knobs. Let me turn around so you guys could get a little bit better lighting. Said I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> Not a lot of space. All right. Oh, there it is. Better focus. And I believe that's how you regulate the voltage and maybe I don't know the speed of the of the MIG or something like that. Cool stuff. Like I said, I've never welded in my life, so I don't know what the buttons do and all that stuff. I just wanted to make sure it turned on. But yes. Solid deal, I would say. I almost bought the the Lincoln version, you know, which is uh, around eighteen hundred dollars. So I thought, like, hey, I'm gonna give this new product a try. I know Hubbard, you know, makes pretty good welders. So yeah, hopefully you guys can make a decision. Now that uh, I've showed you what comes in the box, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment. Thank you.